Hey what's up guys so I'm back again with the best apps for this month and if you like this theme in my phone to check out my best android themes videos to learn how to apply themes and discover new ones and if you haven't already do check out my previous monthly app videos for more amazing apps so let's get started the first app here is Gigblock. it's a great app it lets you view and listen to songs recorded by bands playing gigs in various cities and if you are lucky and your city is listed here it will be a great way to discover gigs and bands near you playing music that you like and if your city is not listed here you can just listen to the music that they are playing right from this app and discover some new music usually the music here is very smooth and chilling next up is grammar pal it's a great app to find out errors in your writing and this app works as you want it to so whenever you are typing a small refresh icon will pop up and after you are done typing press it it will analyze the text you have written and let you know what errors you made and give suggestions for replacements and it works everywhere in note taking apps messenger even in the phone dialer app and that can be annoying Luckily from the settings menu you can blacklist apps where you don't want this feature and it will show all grammatical errors and spell check errors and you don't need to open this app it appears when you're typing and that's what makes this app great. The next app on this list is Glasswire and this app tracks your internet activity of each application so that you can have a better idea where the data is flowing. At each time you can see the amount of data being downloaded for a set period of time. Below you can see how the data is divided among apps. There is also a clean graph depicting amount of data used versus time. You can also view total data uses of last time period and also set a plan to notify you when a certain data limit is reached. And all of this is presented in a clean minimal UI. I really like the design and the way data is shown to us. You can use this tool to identify apps that are running in your background, slowing your device and also using your data without letting you know. And you can also plan how to use your mobile data if the amount is limited using this application. The next app is Shortcutter. If you are on Nougat, this app will allow you to add custom shortcuts in the notification panel. There are many presets to show alarm, RAM uses, random number generator, file browser and you can also create your own so you can make it to launch any particular application you want. So currently you can add only few tiles but, but if you get the pro version you can add as many tiles as you want. And there is no need for root that's why this app is great. And the new tiles blend in well it's like it was there right out of the box. Next app here is Focus Time Reborn. This app aims to get your things done. You can take it as motivation. So this app has three different options. Focus for 25 minutes, short break for 5 minutes and long break for 30 minutes. You can change the time from the settings menu. The idea here is to keep you focused on your work. Then let you relax and get you back in working. To succeed, try not to pause it in working sessions. And then later you can view your sessions in the log and see how effective you were. So do try this app, it's a great time management app. One thing I would like in this app is to have option to make it ring or vibrate after completion of each block to make us aware. Next one here is Podcast Go. It's a new podcast app which contains hundreds of thousands of podcasts from various sources and you can even download them and listen it offline and all of this is presented in a great design it's also a great way to discover new podcasts so there are many categories and there are trending and popular sections for each of them like all apps you can subscribe to them have playlists created and you can also stream a podcast using url if you do not listen to podcast start listening using this app so that's all about this video guys hope you liked it and as i said already if you want to learn about themes do check out my best android themes video so that's it guys thanks for watching have a great day